Look, things change. Anyone with a yeah, camera has a computer right now, so you should pay attention to where they are. They may evolve. Covering the White House beat today, uh, you have constant deadlines, cable news, countdown clocks, uh, whether it be the debt ceiling, government shutdowns. Fundamentally, the job is the same as it's ever been. I mean, uh, certainly the, the news cycle is much shorter. You know, the, the idea that, you know, uh, what's in the newspaper drives the evening news, which, I mean, all that's gone. Uh, you know, the, the, the news cycle is instantaneous. But fundamentally, what we do is the same thing. You, you've, you've got to aggressively pursue the story. You've got to uh, develop your sources. You've got to uh, try to... Um, get to the bottom of what conflicting sides are telling you, and you've got to be fair, and uh, you've got to do your best uh, to be objective. As a White House chief correspondent, how has it been dealing with this White House in trying to break news, sort through fact and fiction, that kind of thing? Every White House wants to control the message. And um, you see many of the exact same tendencies that you saw in terms of the managing of the message in the Bush administration repeated in the in the Obama administration. You just you just need to go out there, do your homework, develop your sources and try to push beyond al we always try to push beyond what the official line is going to be and it doesn't matter who is in the White House. You know, it, it it doesn't matter who you are dealing with. I mean in you know in the space of uh, a couple weeks time I had, a, I had a very tough interview with Ted Cruz and some tough interactions you know, at the White House. John, I get it, but the person who calls isn't the one who continues to wait after the paper application is filled. Uh, you, right? your, your mocking is entertaining, but the president said that we, you could apply within 25 minutes. That's that right. was not true. So you call up. Your job is to kind of be skeptical and question what the official line is, regardless of who it is at that moment in time that is putting out the official line. What are the main differences between, you know, your regular political beat covering Capitol Hill, covering candidates, and covering the White House? I've covered the Pentagon, I've covered the State Department, I've covered Capitol Hill, and I've covered uh, presidential campaigns. And in all of those, there are multiple sources uh, for, for, for information. At the White House, it's much more difficult. You're penned in, you know, in the White House uh, briefing room and in our press area. I think one of the the advantages that I've had having covered all those other beats is that I can try to get information that flows through the White House from other sources. I can go to Capitol Hill, I can go uh, to the Pentagon or to the State Department, depending on what, on what the issue is, and deal with sources that I've cultivated over the years uh, on other beats. Campaign 2012. Any uh, behind the scenes, interesting, crazy stories that you know people wouldn't know about? Let me tell you, for all the talk of how controlling the Obama press operation would be, I mean, the, the, the Romney campaign is precisely the same way. I mean, they would be very uh, aggressive with the reporters uh, in pushing back and trying to, you know, occasionally, uh, you know, intimidate reporters if they didn't like the story or, you know, again, all about controlling the message. I mean, you, you would cover Romney for, you know, weeks at a time and never actually see the candidate, even though you were flying on the same plane, except you'd see him get on in the front of the plane and you'd, you'd see him give his, uh, give his speeches, most of which you had heard a thousand times before, and have very little, you know, kind of personal one-on-one uh, -on -one reaction, you know, interaction with him, um, which is quite different from other campaigns I've covered.